Once upon a time in the project. <laughs> got pretty hairy, but with the heat wave, that was one sweaty ball. <laughs> I'm funny when I'm alone. Can you beat our reigning king and queen of the dance contest? Hmm, look at him. King loser the 14th and queen Laquifa. <clears throat> Big talk coming from a guy who won't even enter. You're the king of excuses. That good to say anything to get out of that contest. What was the last year, baby? He ate a hamburger and got Sheila E. Coli. <laughs> <laughs> busy day, busy day. Nope, too busy. Mrs. Avery, anyone home? Because if there is, I won't snoop. But since there's not, I guess I will. Hey, little white children. Haven't seen one of you in the project since. Well, never. Oh. Super, what are you doing? Putting your filthy hands all over my little white children. Uh, oh, uh, don't. You miss me. <laughs> oh, ah. Now calm down, Miss Avery. No reason to throw a fit. No. Yeah, I guess you're right, Super. I told this. <laughs> Looks like I got no choice. I better do CPR. Heavy. After all I've done, I still got into this place. Oh, thank God for affirmative action. Hello, Florence. I've been waiting for you. Frankie Watkins, is that you? Madame, may I have the honor of your first dance in paradise? Frank, you should know better than to ask me that. I like it better when you just take it. Still nothing. Time for the dreaded mouth-to-mouth. -mouth. Please don't die, Tyra Banks! Ah, feel good, Frankie. Don agrees with me. Ooh, I can even bend over without any pain. If that interests you at all. I hope you're not a vegetarian, because here comes some too. Mm. 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 Super. Hey, you're not Frankie. Why aren't I in heaven? I brought you back from the dead. Oh. Uh, I was never here. <laughs> How was the hospital? Did you like crapping in a pan? Uh, <clears throat> cool wells, Mrs. Avery. Yeah, uh, maybe you can hit the half pipe with us later. Oh, that's so sweet. But there's only one thing I need from all of you. 
And that's for you to kiss my shiny black ass. And that's for you, Super. <clears throat> you brought me back from heaven just as I was dancing with my one true love. You saw Mr. Avery? Hell no. Frankie Watkins. Girl, I met him 60 years ago. He was a photographer for the National Geographic. Come to town to take pictures of the bridges. As it turned out, the only pictures he took were of my bridges. Mrs. Avery, you were bad. Yes, I was young, a professional dancer, and life was grand. Well, if it's dancing that makes you feel good, why not enter the contest at the HUD Ball? It looks like you still got the moves. Oh, you better believe it, Missy. This is Miss Avery's dance world, and the rest of you are just squatting in it. All I need is to take one of you filthy losers and mold you to be my partner. Oh, please. As if your denture-wearing, extra packet of sugar-stealing, down-in-the-top-slipping, old wrinkle butt is any match for me and Jimmy. Fairgood has a better chance of beating us. Leave me out of this. Speaking of dancing, ho, how'd you like to dance with the snowman? I don't even get that. Shut up, St. Chase. And you too. I'm tired of all your trash talking about the dance contest. You want to show down? Because we'll throw down. And you will go down. That's the lowdown on this hoedown. Really? I'm not following this. <laughs> Bring it on, old woman. How much money do you want to bet? This isn't about money. It's about pride. Honor, things you can't buy at the 99 cent store, like you did your wife. Oh, that's it, woman. You just ordered up a beatdown. Then it's all. People, spread the word. Tell everyone Florence Avery's coming, and I'm bringing her out with me. Oh, it's three o'clock. Time for dinner in my suppository. Come on, Sharif. I can't do it alone, darling. Goody, I was thinking about the dance contest at the HUD Ball, and I thought maybe this would be the year we could enter. Enter my butt! If you think you're going to shove that ball down my throat, you're sadly mistaken. Well, I guess I thought that if you took a couple of classes, or maybe a couple of dozen, it would be fun. Nope, bad. Very good, you just said... This is important to me. I would like to dance with my husband. Now, if you don't want to be seen dancing with me... Muriel, please. Let me tell you a story about the last time I danced in public. It was the saddest day of my life. Our wedding day. You don't have to tell me this, Thurgood. I was there. Now, pipe down. I'm telling the story here. Now, it was, ominously enough, Friday the 13th. <laughs> so I said... Padre, you never told me where to kiss the bride. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry. Didn't know there were children here. Anyway, let's give a big hand to Mr. and Mrs. Thurgood Stubbs as they enjoy their first dance together. to be there but it was sad i know it was sweetie but it was 28 years ago don't you think it's time to get past it muriel it's like i said to the judge no contest 
Well, since you refuse to be my partner, I guess I have no choice but to ask Mr. Sanchez. Fine, Muriel. It is fine. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Burkett. Um, we'll call you. <laughs> sure. I know you showbiz people. That means I get to be Miss Avery's partner, right? <laughs> I like to do an interpretive dance call, Shariks the Bob. <laughs> Now who's next? We've auditioned everyone. What? My pride is on the line. I'll be a laughing stock if I don't find a partner who can shake the booty like I can. Wait. There is another. The dance is strong in him. Are you sure Thurgood doesn't mind that I'm dancing with you? Oh, Thurgood doesn't care about dancing. Sometimes I think he doesn't care about anything. But you're quite the dancer, Emilio. Oh. <laughs> Muriel, all happy and smiling. I haven't seen a face like that since. <laughs> These are words no man has ever said before. But I wish I was like Sanchez. Oh! <laughs> it's never too late to learn something new. Why, just last week I learned the part the theme from Star Wars. I am going to learn to dance and be Muriel's partner in that dance contest. <laughs> Mrs. Avery, can you teach me how to dance? Course I can. You got talent. I saw it in the way you dodged my blows when I was trying to kill you in my apartment. But if you're going to learn from me, you're going to learn my way. My word is law. I'm the mentor, and you are the mentor. <laughs> And then, when you are one with the dance, you'll be my partner in the contest at the HUD Ball. Your partner? But I thought I would... Sure! Whatever you say. That's the best idea I ever heard. Why, nothing would please me more than to be your partner in that contest. <laughs> that, uh, that's just happening because I'm so excited by the idea of dancing with you. Kick some serious bootay at that dance contest. <laughs> you and me are going to be bigger than the Nicholas brothers. The bigger, please. Me and you, I learned how to dance so I can dance with somebody I like. My wife. But you promised me. Mrs. Avery, I think I made it very clear at the time that I was lying. Lying, huh? Then we got a problem. Because you owe me. This whole thing started because you were so cruel and thoughtless that you saved my life. You took me away from the one place where you can smoke, drink, and have sex as much as you want. Yeah, heaven was like prison, only better. Oh, look, I'm sorry that you're not dead. 
I mean that. I really wish that you were no longer living. But here I am, still living in this place where everyone thinks I'm just a nasty old woman. That's why I care about this dance contest. Because there's still a young girl inside me who wants these people to know that once upon a time, I was somebody. Come on, Thurgood. You can do it. You can turn your back on a desperate woman in her hour of need. You've had plenty of practice with Muriel. Back. Turning. Almost there. No, wait. I'll do it. I'm very disappointed in you, Thurgood. Now, give your dance partner some sugar. Goody, what's the matter? I have to tell you something. Jar Jar Binks is coming back in the next Star Wars movie. And I'm Mrs. Avery's dance partner in the contest. What? I know, Jar Jar stinks. Can you believe it? You're entering the dance contest with Mrs. Avery. But ever since our wedding, I've been asking you to dance with me. That's why I took lessons from Avery, so that I could dance with you. But then she told me about this young woman living inside her, and at first I thought, alien, cool. But then she got all Indian looking at the garbage on me. So clearly, you can see I had no choice but to be her partner. You do what you have to do. I'll enjoy my night with Mr. Sanchez. Well, Muriel, I'll be dancing with you in my dreams. <laughs> Where'd you get that suit, Sanchez? The Goodwill? As a matter of fact, I did it. Really? Me too. Hey, you know, next month they're supposed to get the Winner 85 collection. <laughs> Baby, winning this contest is going to be easier than you on our first date. Yeah, you have to be a brain damaged dope vein not to vote for us. Hello. Mm, we're the judges for tonight's contest. Uh, you'll be judged on form style and the shine and thickness of your coat. <laughs> well, hello, they're good. Glad to see you could make it. So are you nervous? Nervous? Ha! If I were nervous, would I be able to shake like this? Or sweat like this? Maria, I forbid you to consort with the enemy. But Thurgood's my husband. You have no husband. He is dead to you! Time to practice! Oh. oh my, Florence, you look beautiful. That's right, Flojo dancers in the house! Ha! Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> uh, let's get ready to rumble! My dance partner. Shrink needs a dance partner? Mm. Mm. Our next couple is Jimmy and BB Hall. wedding night. Except tonight I'm not wearing a cummerbund that says whopper down below. So that's it. 
You're not going to dance because you're afraid? What, you don't think I was afraid when Ike Turner took me to his prom? Of course I was. But a life lived in fear is only half lived. I've just never gotten over that mess at my wedding. I remember it like it was yesterday. Now it was ominous. You got to focus on today, Super. I know you can do this. You got style. You got sass. Let's go shove that trophy up Jimmy and BB's aspirin. I need aspirin if I'm going to dance. And I am going to dance. Let's do it. Yeah, nobody puts goody in the corner. I think I can do the move. No, save it for the finals. All right, all right. After counting the votes, uh, the new treasurer of the ninth grade is Benjamin Nidlinger. Way to go, Benji. Oh, I'm sorry. After counting the votes, the three finalists are Jimmy and BB, Muriel and Sanchez, and Thurgood and Mrs. Avery. Oh my God! Oh my God! Act like you've been here before. Did you see me, Muriel? I did it! I danced! It was terrific, Thurgood. I was glad to be able to watch you. Well, Muriel, maybe this time you won't have to watch. I believe there's still another couple. Muriel, may I have this dance? <clears throat> uh, ladies and gentlemen, for the second time anywhere, Mr. and Mrs. Thurgood Stubbs. Uh, one second. Thurgood and Muriel? Ha! This is almost too easy. Yeah, it's like we're competing against white people. Are you sure? Baby, I haven't been this sure or something since I got drunk and asked you to marry me. The dance is with you, sir. Good. And you feel it too, cause you wait to let me know. So follow me down on the floor. Use the moon. Perfect score. Plus, you saved a little money on your long distance bill. Congratulations to our new champions, Thurgood and Muriel. Oh, good, 
Daddy, thank you. This was such a special night. Yeah, well, I had the time of my life. I've never felt this way before. Hey, that's kind of catchy. I am one righteous brother. Thanks for letting me dance with Muriel. Oh, don't mention it. That part was just gravy. The important thing was I got the cold cock Sanchez. <laughs> Maybe being alive ain't bad at all. Avery, I think this might be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Yes, I think it's time. Oh, my hip! Oh! oh. <laughs>